Welcome all. In this lecture, we can continue the analysis of single phase fully controlled rectifier fed separately excited DC motor. In last lecture, we have derived the speed torque relation of a single phase controlled rectifier fed separately excited motor under DCM and CCM operation. And these are the basic equation of separate excited DC motor. So if you are looking here, the speed torque curve is depending upon the maximum value of single phase supply Vm and the firing angle alpha of the rectifier. Okay, so we can vary the speed torque curve or we can vary the, control the speed of motor by controlling the firing angle. But the firing angle can be controlled in the range of 0 to pi. Alpha is in the range of 0 to pi. And when Alpha is in between 0 and pi by 2, cos alpha is positive and when alpha is in between pi by 2 to pi, cos alpha is negative. So the polarity of omega m is depending upon the firing angle alpha. So we can uh, first take the case of alpha is in between 0 and pi by 2. Okay, alpha is in between. 0 and pi by 2 now cos alpha is positive cos alpha is positive okay cos alpha is positive so we can say that this term is very negligible so this omega m is positive when alpha is in between 0 and pi by 2 so omega m speed is positive when firing angle is in between 0 and pi by 2 okay and again if you are uh, looking the torque T is equal to K into IA so torque is depending upon the, the polarity of torque is depending upon the polarity of IA so in uh, control rectifier both in continuous conduction mode and discontinuous conduction mode I0 is always positive. So the average value of I0 that is IA. Uh, I0 is same as IA. So IA is positive for both cases for any alpha. Okay. So since IA is positive, we can say that torque is always positive. Okay. Torque is always positive. Okay. So from 0 to pi by 2 omega m and torque are positive torque are positive so this is in the first quadrant okay so means if you are plotting the quadrants this is omega m minus omega m torque minus torque okay so omega m is positive t is positive so this is the first quadrant okay this is the first quadrant operation so this is first quadrant okay so we can achieve the first quadrant operation using control rectifier by making the firing angle in between 0 and pi by 2 where omega m is positive and t is positive okay so again the power p is now t into omega m it is positive okay it is positive so it is a motoring operation so it is motoring operation this is since ia is positive okay so we can achieve the first quadrant operation by making alpha in between 0 and pi by 2 so it is the motoring operation and now omega m is positive so it is called forward Omega m is positive, so forward power is positive, it is motoring. Okay. And this power can be also uh, defined in terms of E and I. So since omega m is positive, E is positive, E is k into I omega. So here E is positive. And IA is positive. Okay. 
so again p equal to e i a is positive okay so it is a motoring operation so we can achieve the first quadrant operation using the firing angle range between 0 and pi by 2 okay. again another possibility is alpha is in between pi by 2 and pi okay and alpha is in between pi by 2 and pi cos alpha is negative cos alpha is negative so in this equation this is negative it is already negative and this is negligible okay so omega m is now negative okay omega m is negative since i is always positive torque is positive okay torque is positive so we are achieving a negative speed and positive torque when firing angle is in between pi by 2 and pi so this is the fourth quadrant okay this is fourth quadrant so we can achieve the fourth quadrant operation Fourth quadrant operation with firing angle in between pi by 2 and pi. Okay, again the power here it is T omega m, so it is omega is negative and T is positive, so it is negative. So it is a uh, generating operation, generator mode. Motor is operating as generator. Okay, so this is. P is negative, so it is breaking mode. Okay, so omega m is negative, so it is reverse. Omega m is negative, so reverse breaking. Power is negative, so it is breaking. So it is achieved by controlling alpha in between pi by 2 and pi. Okay. So again here E is equal to K into omega m. So omega m is negative. So it is negative. And I A is always positive because it is control rectifier. So again P is K into I A. In terms of electric counties, we can also express power as negative. Though I A is positive, we, get, we are getting power as negative. Okay. So it is a regenerative operation okay so if this is regenerative braking motor so we can achieve motoring forward motoring and reverse regenerative braking using the control rectifier okay. by controlling the firing angle alpha okay Again, uh, we can, so this is the omega m torque curve, okay. We can also uh, exactly plot the omega m torque curve using these two equations, okay. Means we can uh, take a motor and uh, we'll get R a k and uh, by varying alpha, we can plot the different, different speed torque curves, okay. And for smaller IA it will be TCM operation and for larger IA it will be CCM operation okay so means so if this is T and this is omega m axis okay so if this is the right torque less than the rate of torque or we can assume that uh, IA will be very small and above it it will be very large IA will be very large means below this uh, it will be DCM operation and above it will be CCM operation okay so uh, if you are taking the value of alpha as 0 this become 2 Vm by pi k minus r a by k square root 2 is a straight line equation okay so it will be starting from here okay. so we can to be straight line y intercept will be 2 vm by pi k okay so we are not drawing so we are 
and the slope will be r i by k square okay the small stop slope okay so this is for alpha equal to 0 in ccm okay so below this it will be uh, say this in the dcm operation okay so if alpha is 0 this will be a depending upon beta also okay cos alpha is 1 okay so 1 minus cos beta here also beta will be so it will be like so this is for dcm and this is ccm okay so we can plot like this for different alphas okay it will be for alpha equal to 60 okay and uh, for, so uh, from alpha for alpha equal to 90 this will be negative okay so for alpha equal to 90 it will be like because of this alpha equal to this zero so it only this term okay and so this is for dcm okay so this is for ccm and this is for dcm so you can see the boundary this is dcm operation and here it is ccm operation and above alpha equal to 120 it will be this. okay so for alpha less than 90 it will be omega will be positive and greater than 90 omega m will be negative so both forward motoring and reverse braking is achievable using the control rectifier minus omega okay so this is the boundary of boundary of ccm and dc okay this depending upon the uh, torque okay or ia okay and again alpha okay alpha is not depending if is very large, it will be uh, CCM operation. Okay. With this, we can wind up this session. Okay. Thank you.